what I'm using here. So, this might be a long video. The clue is in the title, Chatty. Um, and there are three reasons I wanted to do this video. Um, one, because uh, in my Monday video, you like the makeup at the beginning. And I've done this makeup before, but I will do it again. So that's the first reason. Second reason is my eyes are so droopy because I had, she's put too much Botox again. As you can see, I can hardly move my eyebrows. And when my eyes are like this, I tend to use just one eyeshadow look. And I've done the tutorial not long ago because I feel I can't put anything light here because you can't see it anyway, because I can't even lift my eyebrows. But you know, I like my shimmer and I had a little go to see if I can still do it and I can. So I wanted to show you because I'm sure uh, there is a lot of you that have hooded eyes like me and even if you lift your eyebrows, the hood doesn't lift. Um, you know, if you watch me all the time, you've seen me, I can really lift my eyebrows and, and expose this part of my eye. So I wanted to show you that it's possible and we can still add a bit of shimmer and make that mobile lid a bit more visible. And the third reason is, you know, I've told you in my Monday video, I've been getting these um, um, comments on my videos on hooded eyes that I should be doing the right way on my left eye because apparently my left eye is more hooded. And I've said it before, I can see it, that's my eyes when I don't lift my eyebrows. I know that when I can lift my eyebrows, I can always lift this one higher. Therefore, maybe this one looks a bit hooded. Or maybe it is. I don't know, but I can see it. And I've explained that the reason I always start with this, with my right eye, is because I'm right-handed and I always do my makeup like this. So I said next time I will make conscious effort to start with this eye. There is no trickery to it. And also, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not doing it um, to get back at people or I don't think these people are haters because this, the messages were not nasty or anything. I just want to do it because maybe, just maybe, some people generally think that I have one eye more hooded. So I thought I'd do it. Right, so what I'm going to do today is I've done this makeup before where I've used the uh, Charlotte Tilbury's um, Instant Look in a palette and I use this brown. And also for those of you who don't have this palette, I remember saying that if you have the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, the, I think it's the mid medium contour, the, the biggest one in that palette. It's very similar to that color, so you can do it with that because I've done it with that bronzer as well. And for my sparkle, of course, I'm going to use um, Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use the Starry Eye. You know, I love these eyeshadows they are like everything to me so yes i'll probably be chatting and saying things so if you're not interested you want five minute voiceover makeup tutorial this is not for you okay i'm going to start with my finger with this eyeshadow and normally when i can lift my eyebrows because now i have to go like this to see my eye i go quite high up with the shimmer but now i can't because this is hanging so down um that i will just emphasize that hood with that lighter shadow so and i'm also going to put it just like in the middle oh sorry i must start with this eye oh let me clip my hair with my pretty flowers i know you will be asking when i got my flowers from i got them years ago from h m i think and i usually use them for doing makeup or on holiday to keep my hair right so it's my left eye yeah so 
so I'm going to do it mostly in the middle so I will just do this eye first just to show you that you know I do both eyes the same way I'm gonna take a brush So you see I'm only doing it in the middle and I'm not going too high. There is a bit on that hanging skin but that's okay. You will see. And I just feel and then just on this tiny bit just near my lash line I'm going to go all the way. Okay. The reason I don't want to do lots of that light like I said because it will really emphasize this hood you know I need to make it darker and now I'm just going to go into that um, brown shade from this palette and that will be it now I'm using this brush this is like a dupe for one of those brushes from um, Real Techniques but I bought that on eBay it was like a set of three and I really like this brush um, so what I do now I do much higher because the more hooded your eye is the higher you have to go with your eyeshadow for it to show actually this brush is too big now let's use my blank canvas cosmetics E42. Oh yes, someone was asking me where can they get it. I always have left link to it so many times and they ship everywhere. And I know a lot of you bought this brush and you love it and you said it came quite quickly and the shipping was free as well. So I think it's amazing. I'm not affiliated with Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I they probably doesn't even know of me mind you they did send me some they've put some stuff in that christmas hamper that i had i actually forgot they put this um lovely um eyeshadow palette in there i haven't even used it i need to use that see that reminds me so and now i'm going a bit darker just you know in this hole <laughs> under my bone And, and that's it. I mean, you do it as dark as, as you want. Um, I might shade a bit here, just like this. Sometimes I just leave it completely open. But I feel like I want it really dark here to push that droopiness and that hood away. So this is my more hooded eye and as you can see I do it exactly the same way. Okay and then I'm going to do, right this is Blank Canvas Cosmetics E23, that pencil brush as well. It's nice, it's quite nice and soft. Some pencil brushes can be um, quite scratchy I quite like the MAC um, pencil brush but that one can be it's a bit harsh right let's blend it out a bit okay I'm gonna finish that eye so you know as if I was doing the right way on one eye and the wrong way on the other way although there is no wrong way if you know what I mean. I think I'm going to intensify the sparkle. I'm really missing my uh, shimmer. They are getting a bit better. They started moving now, my eyebrows, but for like the first couple of weeks. I couldn't move them at all. 
Okay, I'm going to put some uh, black eyeliner in my waterline because I always do and you don't have to. I know some people say that it makes your eyes smaller and closes them down. I don't feel that that happens to me and I like it anyway. I also always put tiny bit, especially when my eyes are so down, um, of it in my lashes. I don't do line as such. I just put in my lashes just to darken the uh, base of my lashes. I'm using Avon Super, Super Shock um, Black eyeliner i love this eyeliner i've used it for years but you know i have few eyeliners that i like to be honest i'm not that fussy about black coal liners and whatever is at the top of my drawer i just pull it out and today it happened to be this one but i do love it this one is very soft and it's very good for smudging because it's really really lovely and soft Okay, and let's do mascara. I'm still using... Do you know what I've noticed, actually? And it's just happened again. When I use this uh, Tarte Opening Act um, primer, I get things in my eyes. And I think, because this has fibres, and they drop in my eyes. And I'm really annoyed now, because... I'm going to smudge all my makeup trying to get it out. So much more difficult to do mascara now with my eyes being so droopy because I can't stretch my eye for the mascara not to go onto my lid. Always tilt your head back if your hair, if your hair, if your eyes are droopy that will sort of expose your eye a bit more you see <laughs> ah the things we have to do well we don't have to okay so that's done so this is the more hooded eye and um I don't know. You still see the difference, don't you, that I've made this one look less hooded than this one. Okay, so let's do the other one. Now, if you're going to ask me about the earrings, remember this cheap... I'm not going to go through it. You know what I'm doing now. Uh, this cheap jewellery that I found on eBay. Um, this is from that shop and I'm... I've shown them to you when I bought some more. They were much longer. They had, you see, they have these discs. Um, they had three more discs, but I just taken them off because they were very long then and I've just left four. Now, I'm not going to leave you a link to it. If you want to go and find my, it'd be one of my Monday videos when I talk about this jewelry, you can do it at your own risk. And why I'm saying that. Because lately, when I went back to this eBay shop, change the battery time. Okay, battery changed. <laughs> um, the reason I'm saying this is that because lately uh, I've gone back to that shop, that eBay shop, and when I clicked on it, I got a message saying that this site is not secure or something like this so i don't know why and how it works because it's ebay um but yeah i don't i don't want to leave that link just in case it has some viruses on it or i don't know but that's basically what message i was getting and i don't want to be responsible for you getting some I don't know, viruses, but if you want to look at it, do it at your own risk. Do you know what? I think I might need another lid. 
light here because I can see a shadow on one side. I don't know I can't see I can never see in this tiny viewfinder till I go to edit my videos and then you notice that things don't look right now this is far too bright do you know what I mean I feel like I've got a like a shiny thing here but not here never mind That's why sometimes I think when I look at my video back, sometimes the makeup looks a bit dark on one side to the other because of the lighting. I have the bright light here, it's a bit darker here and it all glares in my face. So it's quite hard sometimes. I don't have very professional lighting. Okay, don't drop any fibers in my eyes, please. I know I use it, this a lot now, but I still absolutely love my Kiko. But you know, I've used Kiko for like a year non-stop, so I thought mm, I should use something different for you now. Still prefer this mascara to the Manita, this is the tightest. Um, yeah, I don't like the Manita so much. But you know, it's personal preference. I didn't do the whole face because I am still in love with my Shiseido, uh, Shiseido um, Synchro Skin Foundation and you've seen me applying my face in my full face favorites video and that's exactly what I do every day so pointless repeating it there is something wrong with my email again it's driving me crazy so now it's decided that you won't send any emails when I want to reply to an email it just doesn't do it I don't want to go into it and explain to you about my 500 accounts that I've created that are synced together because it's just boring and it drives me crazy you see I feel like this one is darker but I don't know if it's the lighting or what that's why I like to do it downstairs now in all natural light but the light has to be just right outside i mean i watch some of my videos when i do them downstairs and and the sun is going in and out you can't control it and the lighting is changing so at least when you've got the artificial lighting it stays the same right lips i've been wearing so much of that mark jacobs slow burn and the Estee added the barest lip liner in in the buff. And um, when I was trying all these lip products at that time, uh, most of you said that, that Marc Jacobs was your favorite. So, and I like it too. okay there I was trying to recreate today with my hair the look of the Elizabeth wig that I really like you know that it's a bit flicked but that's the best I could come up with and 
yeah it's okay it's pretty and i know you will say oh your own hair is so pretty it is pretty because i just blow dried it but um you know give me half a day i will go out take the dog out come back and it'll be like straw especially when it's uh damp and wet and tomorrow god knows what it's going to look like tomorrow okay so i hope that this has cleared out the confusion or the doubt about me having one eye more hooded and trying not to disguise it trying to um deceive you in any way and i don't mean that you know in condescending way at all like i said some people might generally think that my one of my eyes is more hooded so now i've got even more complex um and feel more insecure because not only i have a hooded eyes but now they are wonky as well <laughs> so now i sit and look at this eye that is more hooded than my other one okay so yeah that's the look what else can i tell you while i'm here um excited for you all and myself with all the wig stuff i know you've been buying wigs like i said you've been sending me photos it's brilliant it's fun and also um i think when i do future wig reviews i might reserve any videos about wigs for the weekend so because i understand not everybody that subscribes to me is interested in the wigs and so you know what to expect from me on monday video there is always on wednesday something makeup related or tutorial and then i will reserve all the wig videos for for the weekend so that's when i will be posting them okay my sugar paps thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and remember stay fabulous bye